Hey, this is YBR with BeamNG Drive, and today we're going to be taking a look at a map called WayForward Rally. Rally course means you need a rally car, so we're going to go with my favorite stock rally car, which is the Abishu Pessima. And then we're going to try to do a clean lap right out the gate. Normally I'll do some crashing and exploring, and eventually I pull off a clean lap. But right now I just feel like doing a clean lap right from the start. And it shouldn't be too hard to do one here because it has big, wide open roads that are pretty smooth. And the corners aren't too tight. So all I really got to watch out for are the areas with jumps. Like right here, I got to slow down a little bit to make sure I get a smooth jump over this. Because I did a test earlier where I went flat out through there. I flew, I landed, and I blew up my suspension. At that point, it was game over. So going a little close to the edge right there. That's not the area you want to go close to the edge because there are trees right on the edge of that. Same right here. There are trees right next to the edge. So you don't want to get too close to it. Oh, and as I get right near the edge again. At least that time, I stayed on the dirt. Last time I was all off the dirt, kind of like that. And that demonstration was purely coincidence, and that did not sound like a good landing. Okay, I think I might have a little bit of damage from that, just kind of looking at the way this car is driving, but should not be enough to cause any issues. There's only a few corners left until we complete a lap, and I think this car can hold up for a couple of corners. It doesn't even look damaged. We just have a little bit of suspension damage because we landed on the wheel a little bit awkwardly because I got popped in the air at an angle. So here's the last corner. We're going to really slide this. I didn't mean to slide it that much, but it looked dramatic, didn't it? And then right here, this is where we started. So it's also the finish. And now that we're done, let's go ahead and have some fun. We'll fly into some trees and hit two of them at once. All right. And we can go ahead and reset the car. And now let's do the crashing and exploration part of the video. First off, we're going to hit that jump I was talking about too fast and hopefully blow out the suspension on purpose. Because I don't want to look like a liar. I don't want to do this. And then the car still works perfectly fine because I'm like, YBR, you lied to us. But really, it does break your car if you hit it fast enough. So let's see if I can. We're not going to do any sort of angling or nothing. Just a real fast... Oh! <laughs> I did not know he would hit the tree right there. Well, I guarantee you that would have also damaged the suspension uh, until unexpected trees showed up. Take two. This time I know to avoid the tree. Because when you're rally racing, you never think, let me look up above me and make sure I don't hit the tree with my roof as I fly through the air. Actually, I don't even think I hit with the roof. It was more the front of my car because I was flying that high in the air. So we're going flat out through this whole section to get as much speed as I possibly can. And then there's the flight. And we hit another tree. <laughs> I hit the tree on the right. Now I hit the tree on the left. We got to either go a little bit slower or just center this thing perfectly. Crashing in all these trees makes me want to try to do like a trick shot. So I have an idea. I'm going to try to hit the tree bounce off of the tree and somehow land on top of the tree because the tree has branches that stick out it should be possible to land on top of it i don't want to actually just like impale myself on it i want to gently land on top of it so we're going to come at an angle like this and uh, ooh. <laughs> it actually did it awesome now attempt number four to prove that if you go too fast over the jump you will wreck your car although in a way i have proven that you wreck the car because i've wrecked it every time just not the way I planned. I want to blow out the suspension. That's what I said I was gonna do. It's gonna happen eventually. We're gonna go a little bit slower and we're gonna try to center this thing so there's no chance of me hitting the trees. That is nice and centered going between both of the trees, keeping the wheels perfectly straight for the best landing possible. Car is pretty flat, so it shouldn't be too bad of a landing. And boom, drive shaft is broken, probably the rear drive shaft. And now we got a broken wheel axle as well. So not only will we barely be able to accelerate, we'll also barely be able to steer. So yeah, we're front wheel driving it, it feels like, and it is pulling to the side only a little bit. It's pulling a little bit to the right, as you can see right here, but I can correct it enough to uh, keep on driving if I wanted to. But you know what? I don't. I want to drive a busted up car. I'll just bust it up more. Wait a minute. Can the front wheel still drive? Nope, the other drive shaft broke. Never mind. And this will be the last time I respawn here, I promise. I just haven't been thinking about it. But every time we respawn, we came back to here. The first, we're swapping out the car. We're going to go with a KC. 60x and we're gonna get in bright orange because every video needs at least one brightly colored car no matter what because i love me my brightly colored cars there needs to be more people who buy brightly colored cars in real life i would but i don't buy new cars i buy mine used and at that point i'm usually more worried about the car itself and i don't care what it looks like as long as it drives good anyways what i want to try to do right here is drive through a hole so we're gonna go real slow over this bump so we can floor it right out of it as fast as possible and there's a hole right there you see that hole because i see it we're gonna go right through it oh all right, we're going to land on our roof, but we made it through the hole, and there we go, upright, about into the water, so we can't drive it anyways. That was kind of cool. It flew completely out of the map. And as promised, we're not going to reset to that same spot. We're going to teleport the car back to the road. And we'll try to finish up this lap going forward, crashing anything I see, and then we'll uh, 
do it in the other direction as well. I'm not sure if I'll do a clean lap and then crash or just crash. It depends how much crashing I do on this lap right here, I guess. And we're flying a little too high right there. Could have easily damaged up my car. Don't go to the trees yet. That's way too slow of a crash. I want it to be dramatic of a crash. Like I want to fly through the air and then slam into some trees. Actually, I know a good spot to crash. I saw it earlier. You just gotta go straight for a little bit longer. Don't fall apart on me, car. Don't fall apart on me yet. You got one more corner. One more corner and then you can do whatever you want because you're gonna crash on the next one anyways. There we go. There's the last corner. And there's the crash zone right here. Up on the wall, into the trees, and we're staying in the trees, okay. All right, just go ahead and kind of bring it back down a little bit, and we're up on the wall still. Don't need to do that anymore. Get it off the wall, try not to wreck it this time. Because I want to wreck it at high speed, not the low speed crashes like that. You know, it just depends on the map. Like here, it feels more fun to wreck it at high speed because I don't want to be limping a car around the corners because it's not too fun on a rally course like this because it's a high speed rally course. But you know, some courses it's fun to limp a car around. So what if you just don't know how to slow down, going too fast? Bop! Ooh! Man, I keep bopping myself into the air somehow. And we got front and rear drive shaft broken, so there's nothing this car can do. And I just noticed, this one actually tells you in the little description up top. It says, like, front drive shaft, rear drive shaft. And I was driving the Pesma, it just says drive shaft broken. Let's see, can we actually hit the uh, building over there? I never tested that. Let's see here. Can we hit you? Nope, we drive right through it. This is how you park in your garage. You just go straight through the building. How about this? Can you crash into this? Yes, you can. Impact detect the stopping car. You wish. You can't stop me, but you can make me change vehicles. So we're going to do a lap in reverse. And uh, I'm not really sure what car I want to use here. I kind of want to use a rally car, but it's a little bit too easy. So I'm thinking maybe we'll use a race car, which should work perfectly fine here. It'll be a little bit more difficult than a rally car because it doesn't have the rally suspension, but it shouldn't have any problems completing a single lap of this place, I would think. And if I'm extra careful, there's no reason it won't. I just have to make sure I don't crash and lose control because this car is not made for the dirt. The tires are for the streets, not the dirt. We're going to see what happens when we go around that first corner, though. Like, so far, it hasn't really been pushed. So here's that first corner. going to just kind of slide into it a little bit. And that worked perfect. I got no issues with that. It was nice and easy. I scrubbed off a little bit more speed than I actually wanted to. That's okay. It's better safe than sorry on these first corners until I really get a feel for how a race car works on a rally track. It looks like the only thing I really need to worry about is the jump. Don't, don't you flip on me. Right as I say the word jumps, you start to like go up on two wheels and fly in the air. Don't you dare do that to me. But don't you go into the trees either. That's also a concern, staying on the road. Apparently, this is a little bit harder than I expected. Although I am noticing the course runs a little bit faster in reverse than forward, it feels like for some reason. At least it did on the first half we just drove it looks like maybe the second half when you're going in reverse is a little bit slower so it just has to do with where the hills are like it ends up being this part slower but the other part's faster in reverse because of where it's steep and where it's not so steep and all that probably or i might just be imagining it i don't know i just see my car bouncing and making me concerned again car you need to really stop this you are stressing me out too much rally car didn't give me all these stresses so you know what you're done we're crashing you because I can't deal with all these stresses right here. <laughs> and look at the little wing just jiggling like that. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, bring this thing back a little bit. And now I'll do some exploring. And when you're exploring on this place, you really want the thinnest car you possibly can. The Ibishu Kovac's not that fat, but the Ibishu Pigeon would probably be even better for this. Because yeah, there are some areas like this where it's nice and wide open and easy to explore. But not everywhere is like this. There's some places where it's really tight and it's hard to fit through. Because this is densely populated with trees and it kind of feels like a maze at times you just got to find your way out of here and uh my goal right now is to get to the edge of the island so we got to go real careful through there perfect and then we can go a little bit faster because there's not too many trees on this hill although don't want to go too fast i see an opening it looks like over there let's make our way to the opening make it a little bit easier on me that's why it's like a maze you look for the big openings and then you go through them all right looks a little tight but i think i can manage through here perfect and then Fast, fast, fast. And then can we get through these trees? Can we go under them right there? It looks like we could go under them. Like, you're not really supposed to be exploring, as you can tell by the uh, way these trees are placed. But there we go. We made it out. <laughs> Jiggled the wing, and we made it out. And areas like this, where it's all blank, are only present on the edges of the map. If you drive through the center to, like, kind of cut a shortcut from one side of the course to the other, I don't think there's any big, wide-open areas like this. It's just over here. Although, this could be fun, actually. You can hit the water at, like, 100-plus miles an hour. 105 and whoop, my whole back just kind of exploded a little bit right there.
And we ain't going anywhere with that, so we'll respawn it, and then we're gonna go and do some driving on the interior of the map. And then we will be done with this video. And I think the inside's a little bit more dense than the outside area, so it's even more difficult to find a path through here. But I enjoy doing this. Whoop, there goes a mirror. I just barely clipped that mirror off. Thankfully, it didn't slow me down, though, so we keep on driving without any real serious damage. Whoop, like right here, that's a... That's almost a dead end. We might be able to sneak our way through here, but it's not going to be easy. Got to do some serious maneuvering right there. So real tight, real tight. Oh, just barely tapped that, but we made it through. Made it through. And again, real tight right here. This is the ones where you want the pigeon because you can squeeze through that a little bit easier. We're making it. We're making it. I don't know if I should have went right right there. That was probably a poor decision. There's only one possible way to go. Through the maze! It's actually working decently well. It's just... You gotta look around sometimes. Like, I thought right there I was a goner. Like, if we just look around, there are some routes we can sneak through. Maybe not easily, but we can sneak through. Oh no, our car is stuck. Come on, free yourself up. Oh, not that hard. Okay, I've really taken the wrong route here. This is not good. This is a dead end, isn't it? Ah, that is definitely a dead end. Well, now that I've got myself trapped in a dead end, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. So until next time, it's YBR, trapped and forever lost. I'll see ya. I just finished recording the video you just watched, and then I looked at the map and there was an update for it that adds a completely new road. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at this new road. And the main road, as far as I could tell, was unchanged, so we're not going to do anything with it. So this new road is pretty different. It is really tight and a lot more difficult to drive on. It's real easy to accidentally crash into a tree here. And it's so steep at times that it feels like a pickup truck is more well suited here than a rally car. For example, this section right here. This does not feel like a place you'd want a rally car, but it feels perfectly fine for a pickup truck. And at times this one does actually cross over the main road. So like right here, you go straight across the course we were driving earlier. So if you wanted to, you could mix and match it and have like a custom course if you wanted to where some parts are the big wide open straightaways and then some parts of the real tight and narrow areas like right here and i probably should not be going 60 miles per hour through here but no nope, no nope, we're gonna do it okay no we're not i see that corner coming up i know my limits we're gonna take this super easy because i don't want to crash and now i feel like i'm going the right speed 45 50 miles per hour this feels like a speed where i could get through this without a crash because my goal here is not to crash because i feel like i did enough crashing already in the video and at this point i just want to make sure you guys get to see this road and so far, so good. Stop flying. Uh, again, I'm getting up to that 60 mile per hour range. That's the problem. Got to keep it slow. Keep it slow. Especially right here. There are trees, both sides. It's swerving left and right on the road. We do not want to be taking any risks. And here we go, crossing over the course once again. So there are quite a few places it crosses over. So you really could have some crazy custom designed course if you wanted to. And then, of course, there's the place where we started at, which also crosses with the main course, as you probably saw. So that's at least three places. There might be another one I'm not thinking of because I didn't really look at this too much. Come on, truck, accelerate. I like watching this truck just barely make it up that hill because it's so steep. So again, that's kind of the reason why I chose a pickup truck, though. It feels better in this kind of uh, steep environment compared to a rally car to me. And it looks like this is where we started. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this thing wrecked up a little bit. We're just going to floor it and go through the course and try to slam into a tree. Maybe we'll tear off the door. That's gonna be my goal. Tear off the door. Here we go. Right into these trees. Hey, I did it. All right. Until next time again, this is YBR. See ya.